Hi, I'm Pavel Spechalski and today let's turn down or actually open the brand new Radio Master TX12, the super teeny tiny entry level radio and see how is the build quality of this thing. Let's begin with something simple and of course let's uh, remove the antenna and let's get rid of the battery batteries from the thing. And to be honest, once you remove the batteries, this thing really becomes a super, super light device. And the cover of the JRBI. Now, I have no idea where are the screws for this thing. I bet that we should have something like six screws. One, two, three, four, five, six. I wonder if my... Oh, man. Ah... Fuck, I will have to find a longer screwdriver. Don't go away. Okay, it took me a while, but I do have the longer screwdriver. So let's remove all the screws and let's see how the TX12 looks like inside. Um, I'm not expecting much because for the 60, no, 70 bucks that this thing is priced, you really have to start making sacrifices to still deliver... A Product a radio uh, because radio transmitters are not that super simple devices after all uh, with a decent quality and overall really like made for the best because this is just not not feasible from the economy perspective and bear in mind that you still have to have some kind of the profit for example enough of the profit to be able to send I don't want to destroy the gimbals to send these samples to the reviewers. By the way, a funny fact, Radio Master made an interesting mistake when they sent the samples of this radio. And uh, this time there are no laser engravings everywhere, anywhere, but they attached a short... Oh, do I have to... Re oh, okay. Okay. Really? I have to remove this. Okay, those elements have to be removed to open the clamshells. They attach the letter with the information. If you find any problems, then please add, let us know. However, for example, my radio was addressed for the Andrew Newton. And I also know that Andrew Newton's radio was addressed, not addressed, the letter was uh, referring to Justin. I'm sorry, I don't know who Justin is, but I also that I expect he's one of the YouTube re reviewers. Uh, Justin, if you are watching this thing, please let me know. And by the way, I wonder who got the letter addressed to me. Please let me know. I would really like to like to know. So, so what we have? Mm, what we have over here? First of all, the cable management. The, do you remember the problems that? the jumper head with those uh, flat ribbon cables they are of course gone because the radio master is no longer playing with those this is regular cable nice silicone very very soft cables plugged in all the correct places and the switches the switches the switches didn't on the switches are fine this really looks nice However, it's not the best switch ever. However, there's no, also nothing super wrong with that. The switches, I think, are only held by those nuts over here, which is also fine. And here. The overall PCB quality is nice. Everything is lacquered. However, there is no any kind of the conformal coating on the CPU. It would be nice if someone could just smear some kind of the varnish on top of the electronics uh, lithium uh, battery for the rtc connectors there is something that nobody knows what's for maybe this is for something like the extension this i wonder what this is this element over here looks like a thermistor hmm, hard to tell this thing of course has the usb c charging so you can charge batteries uh, from the usb c which is really like super cool uh, why why not all everybody is doing that 
USB-C and the charging from the USB is such a relief when you are going somewhere and you do not have to remember to take all the chargers with you. Because you can share the chargers of your phone with your radio and this is so super cool. Overall the PCB quality is nice and but I wonder how they got rid of the multi-protocol module. This multi-protocol module comparing to the big multi-protocol module has only one uh, radio chipset and this thing is called the radio chipset called the CC2500 which basically is the same chipset that for example FreeSky uses and this radio is made compatible with the FreeSky. I also think that FlySky uses CC2500 but you cannot select FlySky protocol on this radio. I really wonder why. Um, hmm. Still if you have any receiver from the free sky probably not the access but maybe no not the access then this radio can talk with that uh, the radio part is shielded which is also always a good idea and i do like when those things are shielded this time the oh, the module is not removable it's soldered with this header uh, in place you cannot take it out however what i like is that the pigtail from the sma connector this is sma yes this is SM, from the sma connector to the apex over here is covered with salastics uh, some kind of goo that will keep it in place and prohibit the antenna wire to come loose when you just throw this thing somewhere the gimbals the gimbals are of course potentiometers and you can see the potentiometers over here no yeah the teeny tiny potentiometers and are full plastic uh full plastic yeah all the bits and pieces inside are full plastic however on this side i can see that they have a bearing i wonder if this is a ball bearing or just a sleeve bearing Hard to tell, but there is a metal bearing nevertheless. And what's important, the, the gimbal for left and the right look very look alike. Uh, I think this is the same gimbal. However, they got rid of the on the gimbal for the roll and pitch, they got rid of the metal plate that gives a tension on the throttle. And of course, the, the one for the throttle is not self-centering. So if you want to convert this to other mode, you have to swap the gimbals. Uh, but there is no ratchet. There is no ratchet option and uh, the ratcheting on the throttle is not there because this requires a second spring and a special gear. Oh, pseudo gear over there acting on this uh, second spring but overall for the for the price i think this is just good enough the molding quality on the gimbals itself it does not trip us but it's not terrible as well so in total in total it's kind of nice i do like that the roll and pitch have relatively high tension on the spring and this helps uh, a lot i would prefer slightly more tension on the on the throttle and definitely more tension on the yaw but also this can be regulated i think which one is for the okay this one this screw over here regulates the tension on the yaw this one on roll and where's this tension screw? oh and this one you can use to regulate for the for the pitch so this is doable uh of course we have stm uh, what kind of cpu is that we have the stm32 f205 yeah so from basically the same quality the same the same cpu not quality as we had on the original taran is in general it looks really 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 decent there is nothing i can uh really start bitching about i would not mind if the uh connectors for the or the for the switches were kind of isolated but still the soldering soldering is soldering looks decent as well maybe not perfect but it's kind of okay -ish. and uh, yeah this is how the radio master tx12 is built internally castrated multi-protocol module PCB with the nice quality gimbals which are probably 
really like matches the price of the radio and they really do feel better than the gimbals on the on the flysky i6 uh, however they are potential meter gimbals not the whole effect gimbals and you really cannot compare those with the uh, bigger better for example on the house on the take 16 you can feel the difference and i'm only not sure if this is a ball bearing or the sleeve bearing on the on the gimbals but this is irrelevant i will not be taking out the gimbals today besides that besides that looks really nice i only wish that here uh, the space uh, for the battery compartment was somehow bigger because this is really, on the other hand if this is tight then there is no problem of the uh, batteries uh, rattling inside of the casing so maybe this is just made by purpose that's nice i think that's uh, that's relatively nice oh but wait uh this is interesting the radio is called tx12 you see without s but the board is marked tx12s does it mean that there can be a better version of this radio because if the board suggests that there should be s at the name at the end of the name of this thing but there isn't and so so nice 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 and uh, I think we will be ending here. There is not much more we can uh, see. I will not take it down further to... Uh, is there any kind of the... Uh, okay, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah, now we are talking. Oh, now we are talking. Yeah, I, I hate those tin foils on the LCDs. I blah. Uh, and the balance on the on the radio seems seems fine. Seems fine. So that's the end of the teardown of the TX12S, and the verdict is yes, the quality matches the price. There are a few compromises, uh, but overall the build quality inside is nice, and it should be cool and should be working without much of the problems. Thank you very much for watching. Until the next one. Bye bye.